Aspi and welcome to my channel. Kapag bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So, today I will be giving you tips on how to solve word problem in mathematics. Minsan ba, naitanong ninyo sa inyong sarili, when you were a student, mahirap kasi mag-solve the word problem. No! You know, learning math is fun. The most important thing, if you know how to solve word problem. Kasi po, when you know how to solve word problem in mathematics, nakakasa yung mind mo. Okay? So, don't you worry guys. Are you ready? So, if you're ready, please keep watching until the end of this video. Tip number one. When tip number one is you need to read the problem carefully. When you are reading the problem, see to it that you need to understand it. Okay? Tip number two. Determine the given and the unknown. What are the given here in our problem? Find the three consecutive integers whose sum is 87. So what are the given here? And then represents the unknown quantity by a variable. That is tip number three. In mathematics, guys, we can use a variable from A up to Z in the alphabet, in the English alphabet. You will be using A up to Z, but now we will be using the X, Y, and Z. So, let's go back to the problem. Find the three consecutive. So, when we say consecutive, ibig sabihin, ano po sa Tagalog, ano po ang tatlong magkakasunod-sunod na number kapag pinag-add mo sila ay magiging 87. Because sum, this is, the operation of this is addition. Okay? So, okay, find the three consecutive integers whose sum is 87. So, when you go back to the tips, okay? Ang sabi dito, you need to determine the given and the unknown. Ano po ba yung mga given natin? Ano po ba yung hinahanap natin? So, that is unknown. Okay? Represents the unknown quantity by a variable. So, the variable there are from A up to Z. So, in mathematics, you can use from A up to Z in English alphabet. So, today, I will be using the variable X. So, let us let X. It means to say, let X, this will be your first consecutive. First consecutive number. Because, hinahanap natin dito guys, tatlong consecutive. So, when we say consecutive, that is sunod-sunod. After the X, that will be X plus 1. This will be your second consecutive number. And... 3, that will be x plus 2, that will be third consecutive. And then, you need to solve. How are we going to solve it? So, pagsama-samahin natin ito. x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 87. Okay? So, x plus x plus x, ilang x po dyan? So, that will be equal to 3x, 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3, is equal to 87. Okay, now, ang 3 na ito, you need to transpose it to the other side. So, according to the rule that when you are transposing a number on the other side, the sign must be changed. Since the sign is positive, then it will become negative. Okay? Now, 3x, that is equal to 87 minus 3. 3x is equal to 87 minus 3, that is equal to 84. Therefore, x is equal to 84 divided by 3. So, when you are going to divide it, guys, 84 divided by 3, how many 3 are there in 8? So that is equal to 2 
2 times 3, that is equal to 6. 8 minus 6, that is equal to 2, bring down 4. How many 3 are there in 24? That is equal to 8. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. Therefore, our first integer, guys, is equal to 28. So this is your first integer. Okay. Second consecutive. Ano yung kasunod ng 28? So let's go back. X plus 1. That is equal to. Di ba? Ang value ng X natin ay 28. So 28 plus 1 is equal to 29. So this is your second number. And then go back to X plus 2. That is equal to 28 plus 2. That is equal to 30. Okay? So, this is now our third consecutive. So, pag sinabi natin, we need to check if your answer is correct. We know that 28, 29, 30. po ba sila? Yes or no? Di ba yes? Okay. Now, let us check. If we are going to add all of these three numbers, 28, plus 29, plus 30, what is the sum? Pag pinag-add mo yung tatlo na yan, that is equal to 87. That is what we call our checking. So, I'm going to go back for from uh, the tips that I have shared today. Number one is read the problem carefully. So, number two, determine the given and the unknown. Number three, represents the unknown quantity by a variable. So you can use uh, uh, x, y, and z, and so on. You can use any variable. But the most important thing, from a up to z. And then, you need to solve, and after that, you need to check. So we have already solved what are the three consecutive integers. The three consecutive integers are 28, 29, and 30. So let us check. If we are going to add, because this is the sum, okay, sum, the operation is add. So, if you're going to add the three numbers, that is equal to 87. Okay, example number two is, there is a number such that three times the number minus six is equal to 45. Find the number. So, diba, tip number one, you need to read the problems carefully. So, I've already re read the problem. So, number two is determine the given and the unknown. What are the given here? So, when you go back to the problem, see to it, guys, that you need to read the problem, absorb it, analyze it, right? So, there is a number. Ibig sabihin, isa lang ang number natin. Let x. So, let x is a number. And then, 3 times the number. So, we're done already with determine. Number 3 represents the unknown quantity by a variable. What is our unknown? A number. So, we represent it by x, a variable x. And after that, you go back to the problem, guys. Three times the number. It means to say, tatlong beses daw a number. And we know that our number is x. So, three times a number. So, this is a representation. Minus six. This is, is what we call equal sign. Equal to 45. So now, this is our equation. Based from our equation, we are going to solve the value of x, which is our unknown, at ito po yung hinahanap natin na number. Ano po kayang number na yun? Okay, so, 3x minus 6 is equal to 45. So, 3x, so as what I have mentioned in example number 1, when you are transposing a number, situate that, the sign must be changed. So since this is negative, when you're going to transpose it, it must be positive. So that will be equal to 
45 plus 6. So 3x is equal to 45 plus 6, that is equal to 51. And since we are solving for the value of x, so 51 divided by 3. So let us divide. How many 3 are there in 5? About 1. So 1. 1 times 3, that is equal to 3. 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2, bring down 1. How many 3 are there in 21? Give us 7. And when you are going to multiply 7 times 3, that is equal to 21. So therefore, x is equal to 17. This 17 is our ano, nahanap na po natin ang ating ano na 17. Isa lang po kasi, ang minahanap kasi, there is a number. So when we say is, that is a linking verb, right? Kapag is, isa lang. Eh kung sinabi kung there are, two or more ang minahanap. So, there is. It means to say, ano kayang number na yon? At nakita na natin na ang number na yon ay 17. So, we're done already with the solving. Let us check if your answer is correct. So, you go back to this equation. So, since the value of your x is 17, so you go back, 3x minus 6 is equal to 45. 3 times the value of your x that is equal to 17 minus 6 is equal to 45. 3 times 17. Diba 3 times 17, when you get the product of that, that is equal to 51 minus 6 is equal to 45. 51 minus 6, 45 equals 45. So, when the right equation and the left equation magka-equal, then tama ang sagot nyo. So, I hope that Guys, that you need to follow the tips on how to solve the word problem. When you are solving the word problem, the most important thing there, guys, is you need to read it with understanding. Kasi when you don't know how to read it with understanding, it's very hard for you on how, what operation are you going to use, what are you going to do. So I hope that you learned something today and have a great day, everyone.